This is uh, another way to do fraction models. We've done area, we've done length, and the third one is parts of a set. Um, we can be doing this with lots of things outside the realm of math manipulatives. We can go into the kindergarten room, we can take out the Lego box, we can take out the Tinker Toy box. Um, we could get into Mum's cupboard, for example, and, and do the cans. Or there's lots of things that you have right within your classroom. It could even be books for from from your classroom library. So we're going to start with the concrete. Um, here again we can be using a digital camera taking pictures of these. So if we were going to do two-thirds as our fraction, so then we would have to figure out, okay, how am I going to get um, three groups? So some of the kids are going to say, well, each one gets two and then they keep adding on. Others might count the whole set and divide it. Some of them might just go one, one, one. Now, here's an example. I might say, okay, two-thirds are higher than the other. We need to get out of the only being one way to show this. For example, we might stack them on top of each other. Two-thirds of the group are stacked. One is not stacked. Um, do they always have to be in a straight line? No. We need to be teaching our kids that arrangement doesn't matter. We could say two groups form a small T, one group forms a big T. So two, two thirds of all my tiles form the small T. Things like that. Think outside the box. Um, we could have our people, for example. Now, some kids, the first thing they want to do is put them all together in the same colors. Is that necessary? Absolutely not. So we've got two, four, five. can say here's our last group of five. Two. Oh yeah, this guy's in the wrong place. Okay, we can say two-thirds have the heads going up, one-third has the heads going down. You know, let your kids um, experiment with it and push them. Or I might say two-thirds are vertical, one-third is horizontal. Don't always just do colors or shapes. Get them thinking differently. Um, we can use double-sided counters. These are kind of neat because you can turn them over. So if we were doing thirds, okay, I could put them into groups of four. How many different arrangements could I show? I can put them in squares. Okay, I could say if I was doing the horizontal and the vertical, And then I could say two-thirds are red, one-third are, are yellow. It could go on forever. Now, the next step, this is concrete. The next step would be for them to draw it as a picture and then label it. You might start putting in, okay, this is how we write fractions with numbers. Uh, you might be putting in, how do I spell these fractions in words? And that would be part of the symbolic representation of this model.